Hey guys, today we're out here in the sword grounds and we're going to show you a very cool and important feature for your Garmin sonar. If you like to bottom fish in deep water, then you need to watch this video and learn this simple but very effective feature for your Garmin sonar. I was just in Honduras last month and we, I was there for four days. I led a swordfish seminar and we fished for three days in search of the first swordfish for that region. And while we weren't able to catch one, we definitely found a, an area for those guys that they could work and they could catch their first swordfish of the region utilizing this feature for the Garmin sonar. We utilize this feature to identify spots where we could mark bait, small uh, fish and squid on the bottom to target for swordfish. That area was able to yield for us two oil fish and one palm fret, which we caught on the jug on the jug rod, which was actually the first jug rod fish that has ever been caught in that region in Honduras. Now the feature that I'm talking about is the Garmin sonar shift feature. And what this allows you to do is to see with extreme detail what is on the bottom because what you're going to do is you're going to select a depth range for your sonar and you're literally going to, no pun intended, shift your screen to only look at that section off the bottom. And so your sonar is only working and focusing on the section that you have selected, which returns a much crisper and cleaner image to your sonar screen. Now that we've said all that, let's jump right in and show you how you could do this on your Garmin screen. Okay, so the first thing that you see here is we're in 1,585 feet of water. And when you look here at the bottom, you don't really see a lot of stuff there, but there, there really is stuff here. And it's because you're looking from zero all the way down to the bottom. And so you're really, you're not going to be able to see a squid when you're looking at this, this depth range or small life down there. So what you want to do is take this section right here on the top of your, your Garmin screen, and you're going to hit the minus button. And you really want to just do it until the depth range that you want to look at, right? So for the argument of today's video we're just going to go down to 250 feet and if you notice now you don't see anything on your screen and it's because the bottom is you're only looking at the top 250 feet so what you're going to do is press menu then you're going to press sonar setup you're going to press advanced shift and then you could either hit the down button That'll move really slow. We know we're in 1,500 feet, so we're going to slide the slide bar down until we get close. And then we're just going to tap it a little bit. And then you're going to give it a second for your sonar to start reading the bottom, and you'll see it start coming through like it's coming through right here. And now what you could see on the bottom of your screen there, and we'll hit done so you could see the full screen, is you could see all of this life down here. You could see the bottom right here the definitive red line across the bottom okay and right now here where we're at we're in a soft bottom and you could really see you know the, the sonar penetrating down that's why you could see all this other color down here and lets you know that you're over a soft bottom we know because we fish this area a lot this is really a lot of mud very muddy bottom and sand but you could see all of this other life that you couldn't see before Right, right off the bottom, you can see the definitive bottom line. You can see all that other life that you could see. You couldn't see it before because you're looking from zero all the way down. And these are very small squid and bait fish that we have out here on the sword grounds. Now, if you notice, you see this great detail that you, you could visualize here on your screen. And again, if you take a look, this is really not that far off the bottom. You're, you're probably looking at, you know, 10, 15 feet off the bottom and you can see all of that here. And sometimes you can see it a little bit higher. You can see some space in between the uh, bait and the bottom of the ocean. And what we've done on our Garmin unit is we changed our color uh, scheme to the white background because we feel that it helps us identify and we could see all of the stuff a lot better than with the blue background on our unit. At the end of the day, when you're done and you want to turn it off and you're going to go home, all you have to do is press the button right up here. It goes back to auto. You're going to go back to menu, sonar setup, advanced, shift, and hit off. And your unit will go back to how it was before you set that. And then you could drive home. 
Guys, now that you know how to use this feature, I feel confident that you're going to be able to mark more fish and bait in deep water the next time that you're out fishing that were probably invisible to you before on your sonar screen. Please give the video a like, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our content. We're putting out weekly content on a lot of things that are fishing related. We've got a Swordfish 101 series that we're working on. We're adding uh, five or six more videos to our Garmin 101 series. We're working on a Boating 101 series coming out uh, in a couple months. So that way you stay tuned. Thank you for watching.